Hello, my lovely Virgos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are doing your bonus reading. And this reading is going to be all about the next love coming towards you. Now, it is a general reading, so it may resonate. It may not. If it does resonate, let me know. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, or the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovelies, Virgo, please, my lovely Virgos, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse for the general overall energy. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. The World card in the reverse. The Star card. And the Moon card in the reverse. I feel like this is somebody that you guys have dealt with, but I also, in the past, um, I don't know how I, I'm just going to be honest, Virgo. I'm really not sure how I'm feeling about this, okay? I do kind of feel like this person could be getting some very negative attention right now for some of their wrongdoings, okay? They also have the Justice card in the reverse here at the bottom. It's really sticking out to me. I do kind of feel like this person could just be getting some very, um, like, very negative attention here or... Yeah, even the hangman is right here too. So, you know, they've kind of put themselves in a in a situation here. And this could involve you um, or this could be on their own. We're going to clarify and get some more information. Now, I do think that there is something about you, Virgo, where they're almost hoping that you can help by being involved with you that... Um, you can help turn some of that negative attention into some positive positive attention here, right? I feel like this is somebody that you got, like I said, you have dealt with things in the past. Maybe you didn't receive closure. This person could have ghosted you in the past as well. For some of you, let's see. The moon card in the reverse. A lot of the things that this person has really been doing or a lot of their like secrets will... I almost kind of get like there's this player type of an energy or like, but somebody has been exposed here, right? They could just be getting a lot of really negative attention. They could be um, a lot of their secrets, things that they've been kind of doing behind people's backs have come to the light here. This is a very specific message. I mean, it's almost like they're hoping that by like reconnecting with you, Virgo, um, that it will show like a different side of them or show that, that some of that isn't true. You know, there's a there's a weird energy here, but I almost feel like this person wants something from you. Like there's something that they're trying to almost like use you for. So really be careful, okay? Um, maybe to shield them from some of this. Um, you know, they could have done some other kinds of injustices as well. And there's just something here where they're hoping that maybe you help them. You can help them fix the situation, help them heal the situation. Because they're very overwhelmed and they don't know what to do. They do not have a good handle. They feel like um, things are kind of spinning out of control. And I feel like they're wanting to run to you to um, help them with this. Tell me about the Six of Wands in the reverse. Why is that here, please? The Seven of Swords. Yeah, I do not like this. Um, I don't think that this person has good intentions. I really don't. Um, I do feel like some of their like their lies could have caught up with them here. They could have had some sneaky behavior, and they're getting a lot of you know um, they're getting a lot of heat for it here. I definitely feel like their lies have caught up to them here. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like they, they there was a lot of illusions, a lot of dishonesties. For some of you guys, this could even be like scamming people and things. I'm getting a lot of different energies. I'm getting like, probably because we're reading for a lot of different people. There's a lot of different ways in which this energy could manifest. Um, so just take it how it resonates. Uh, but whatever it is, their secrets and lies, they are all out in the open now. They are definitely being exposed here. And somebody's looking to you to want to help them with this. Uh, to help them out of it in some way. Help them deal with it in some way. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles in the reverse. 
You got the king of swords here. They could see you as an expert in something. Maybe it's your job that you're an expert in, or maybe you're just very clear-minded, very intelligent, and they feel like you'll be able to help them find a solution to some of their issues. Or almost like you'll be able to kind of, how do I want to put that? Um, you know, put a stop to some of this. I don't know. It's a weird energy. Um, I didn't mean to grab that many. We're not taking five. Got the page of swords in the reverse. I feel like this could also be your energy. I feel like you're very skeptical about this person. You could have very high boundaries when it comes to this person. Like you have your sword up. You don't really trust them. I feel like you're willing to cut them off. You're trying to be very um, like emotionally detached when it comes to this person because you don't trust them. You're very skeptical about them here. And it seems like you have every right to feel that way. Tell me about this world card in the reverse, four of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like you guys have already started to release this. They could have released you in the past or like, like I said, this is somebody that you guys have dealt with in some capacity in the past. But I feel like you guys have already started to move on from this. The queen of wands. I do feel like there was a lot of attraction. Some of you guys, this was more like fun or a fling. Uh... There was a lot of attraction, maybe a lot of passion and chemistry between the two of you. But like I said, this person could have just, um, some of you guys, they this just could have up and left or they could have ghosted for some of you guys. I do feel like for some of you, this person has like player-like tendencies. Tell me about this star card, the seven of pentacles in the reverse and the three of pentacles. Yeah, it's, there's something here where they almost feel like, especially with this uh, this Three of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles can talk about something being put on display, right? Um, there's almost something about it where, and, and and with the Star card, that's like getting attention, getting noticed, being, you know, something being put on display. I almost feel like there's something that they feel like you can help them with that will help them like shift some of this attention or get more positive attention. This is such a specific weird, this is such a weird message. But I also kind of feel like with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like you guys could have already seen some of this. So some of this negative attention of the things that this person has going on, some of you guys have already seen it and you're not willing to invest into this. Tell me about this moon card in the reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse again. So they are very overwhelmed. They do not have a good handle on things. Um... All this stuff is coming. All the stuff that they've been doing in the dark is coming to the light, and and they it's totally out of their control. Yeah, they're getting a ton of attention uh, for it too. So I would be very careful. This person definitely has an ulterior motive. This person is there is something here that they want from you, Virgo. Um, it's a weird message. I'm not even exactly sure what it is, but you know they don't have good intentions. They're not moving towards you for the right reasons. So keep that in mind, okay? But that is what I have for you. Now, if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or our Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. You can email me uh, for more details about the tarot course if that's something that you're interested in. If you want personal prayers, you can put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and supporting me and I will see you soon.